Hey guys, guess what we're doing today? We're going to compare the Nintendo Switch versus the Switch Lite to find which one is best for you. So subscribe and we'll jump into it. The multiplayer on the Nintendo Switch Lite is worse because you can't hook it up to your big TV to get all your friends around, hand out a controller and play. So unless all your friends also have a Switch, you're stuck playing it on a little screen it's like super small and you have to go out and buy extra controllers unlike the regular Switch which comes with, with two controllers right out the box to get going with some awesome local multiplayer and you can dock the big main Switch on your TV meaning you can significantly improve your experience with multiplayer but the graphics on the Switch Lite look nicer. Not because it's scaled to a better resolution, but because the screen is smaller, meaning the pixel density is higher, producing a nicer image. The Nintendo Switch Lite is more portable due to its smaller size. So if you're constantly on the go, traveling between work or college, then the Nintendo Switch Lite might be a better deal for you because it's cheaper, smaller, more portable, less likely to break because the construction is solid, meaning the Joy-Cons don't come off. So you have to keep less stuff with you to travel with it. However, there is an issue with the Nintendo Switch with Joy-Con drift where the control sticks, after time, start breaking down on the inside and start registering false inputs. However, with the Switch, you can just swap the Joy-Cons out. But with the Switch Lite, you can't because they're fixed to the side, so you have to either send your whole Switch off, or just buy another Switch. Meaning, it can be more expensive in the long run, leaving you without a console at times because instead of just getting your controllers fixed you gotta get everything fixed meaning if you're here to save money it might be a better deal to go with the big main switch the Nintendo Switch Lite is a hundred dollars cheaper meaning if you're buying multiple of them say for your children or you just want one for yourself the Switch Lite is the easiest and cheapest way to get in on Animal Crossing, Splatoon 2, Super Mario Odyssey, Super Mario 3D World. If you're actually not sure which one of those two you want, I'll link a video up here going over which one you should buy. But in terms of the Switch Lite, it's cheaper, which is hands down a good thing. However, it does come with some caveats due to the fact that the Nintendo Switch Lite cannot be docked, meaning it's less of a Switch than it is a stay. Battery life. Everyone wants it, and everyone wants a lot of it. The Switch Lite has a smaller battery than regular, brand new, off-the-shelf Switch right now. However, if you're going the second hand route, you need to be careful because there's two versions of the regular Switch that's been released. The regular Switch, which was came out at launch day, and the red box Switch, which has a slightly different serial number, but has a better battery life than the Switch Lite. But if you're buying brand new, then you won't have an issue. The Switch Lite, however, has only got one version in multiple different colours, meaning that you don't have to worry about it if you're buying second hand. If you're buying first hand, the main Switch has got more battery life than the Switch Lite by about an hour and a half. I have the regular grey Switch, which lasts about three hours. So you're not getting a bad battery life if you do end up getting a grey box switch. However, if you're going to buy a switch second hand, please do your research and make sure you get a red box switch because they're not more expensive, they're just worse. 
The Nintendo Switch Lite doesn't support every single Switch game. Because you can't remove the Joy-Cons to do stuff that's very reliant on motion controls. So Mario Party, for one, isn't playable unless you go out and buy yourself an extra set of Joy-Cons, which brings you almost right back up to buying a regular Switch anyway. And it's just bulky. However, it's still not even a good way to play it, because you can't dock on the Switch. Light, meaning you can't put it on a big screen, which means you can't really play Super Mario Party with your friends, because all you can do is Toad's mini game gallery, meaning Mario Party and other games like this are just completely useless on the Switch Lite. However, this comes with the caveat of you can get it working. You could prop the Switch Lite up on a like table and like just kind of do it. Mario Kart works like this as well, and though if your friends do have multiple Switches, like I said earlier, you can just play multiplayer that way. If you want to make your Nintendo Switch unique, then you want to go for the original Switch because there's just way more official levels of customization. You can change out the Joy-Cons, you could get special editions. There's way more special editions for the regular Switch than there is for the Switch Lite. The best gaming experience is just on the regular Switch. That can't be denied. So if you want to get a Switch, it's my personal recommendation to wait and then go for this proper Switch when you have the money because you won't regret it. You'll be joining probably the best community of gamers around and you'll have some really great games to play and you won't have to worry about oh is this like gonna work with the Switch Lite as well as you can just make the console your own you can have one red Joy-Con and one green one so do it save up the extra money and get yourself a regular Switch you'll enjoy it more and it'll probably stick around with you longer and that's the video guys so, like, subscribe, and if you like this content, check out my other video that I'll link below about Super Mario Bowser's Fury and whether enough me and my friend think it's enough to differentiate the game from the original Wii U game. And with that, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!